Hey everyone, it's Chris uh, Pepelinski here. I figured, in light of um, the Black uh, History Month, I figured the movie that I finally get to talk about, which I've been really excited to talk about for the longest time, is the Black Panther movie. I will say, the movie was very, very, very good. And I would definitely say it's the best uh, Marvel movie to date, and definitely worthy of a second viewing. So basically, the basic premise of Black Panther takes place after the events of Captain America Civil War, which introduced the Black Panther character played by Chadwick Boseman, who many people may know was also played um, Jackie Robinson in the 42 movie, and of course, the playing Thurgood Marshall as well. So basically, this movie kind of goes into like the origins of Wakandia, the, the, the fictional African city that T'Challa you know comes from and, and basically how you know Wakanda thrives and survives is this material called uh, vibranium which basically allows you know the Wakand Wakandian village to thrive both technologically and as a culture and makes them much more advanced you know than normal uh, civilization and I guess in a sense to I guess prevent the vibranium from being kept into the wrong hands, you know, in case of its abuse for power and stuff like that. Uh, the Wakandians isolate themselves and, you know, kind of like their village is kind of disguised as like a third world country. And of course, T'Challa is trying, I guess, you know, has to take over uh, as king since, you know, of course, his father was killed by Helmut Zemo in the events of the Civil War movie. And of course, um... It also uh, introduces uh, his cousin, uh, Eric Stevens, also known as Killmarger, and you know he has all the markings on his body for all the people that he's killed. I would say what makes Black Panther, Black, Black Panther a very culturally significant movie is that it's one of those mo uh, rare superhero movies that with a predominantly African-American cast. And of course, it also what I thought was pretty cool, you get to see like Wakandia, like, as like, you know, it's a really cool society, like, you know, like very scientifically advanced and technologically advanced. And also you have, you know, the mighty, you know, woman, you know, warriors in the Wakanda village called the, the Dora Maj. And of course, um, the film also has T'Challa's, um, you know, ex-girl you know, girlfriend, Nakia, you know, played by Lupita Nyong'o. And then you have, oh, and then you have, uh, you know, Danny Gurry, who many people famously know as Michonne in The Walking Dead, plays Okoye, o o o o you know, one of the Dora Maj of female warriors. And of course, uh, Angela Bassett plays T'Challa's uh, mother. And of course, um, you know, Forrest Whitaker plays um, Zuri. And, of and I would say, you know, what makes, you know, Black Panther a really awesome movie is the blend of the action, you know, the comedic moments, the drama, and it's surprisingly, everything manages to balance itself out with, you know, being, you know, like too over the top, like, you know, like the problem with Thor Ragnarok was, since even though in the case of Thor Ragnarok, it was much better than Thor Dark World, but I felt at that, in that particular movie, the humor was a little too overboard and a little cartoonish at times, but I felt, you know, with Black Panther, it managed to, you know, work itself out, you know, pretty well. So, and like I said before, the Black Panther is definitely the must-see movie of the year so far. And, of course, from my personal opinion, the best, you know, Marvel movie, you know, to date. Since it's not just like a social, com it's like, in a sense, it's kind of like a social, co you know, commentary. And maybe to an extent, a political one, but, you know, which I guess the film kind of touches upon. But it's also, of course, the most important thing, uh, uh, you know, a valued sense of entertainment. So I would just say for those that didn't get a chance to see it, definitely, definitely, you know, get out there and see it, you know, while it's still in theaters. And of course, you know, I know people probably see it, um, you know, a few times, you know, considering it's, you know, considered a culture defining movie. So I just want to say thanks again for watching and Look forward to, you know, whatever other movies I have in mind to discuss. Thanks again for watching.